Um, so Mark Curry did an interview and um, he kind of elaborated on the infamous slap story between Suge supposedly slapping Diddy. Did you see that interview and what he, what was said this time versus what was said last time? Well, it wasn't just Mark Curry. Mark Curry, like I said, Mark Curry done grew on me on listening to him. I kind of like the way Mark Curry come off in that interview that he's doing over the, that he's finished up over there at Art's channel. But I know a lot of y'all think we had already covered this, and that was just a coincidence where, as I always tell y'all, me and John only tape on, you know, once a week, maybe mo more, mostly twice a, a month. I meant to say not weekly or daily like some people post. And so we had to state that when I said I hope Suge deals with and cover the slap incident. Uh, that Mark Curry and, and the dude from Goody, Goody Mob, uh, I think his name, Gulp, and uh, John will correct me because I know I'll be messing people's names up. But, uh, uh, and Gene and a couple other people have said where they said Suge slap. Puffy, and then that's why Big J got killed, and you know the incident happened with Big J, and I argued with G G G Clown from Gully TV and all of them about a year ago, and I was like, I never heard that, <laughs> I never heard that, and I always heard that it was she grabbed him by his collar, his shirt collar, and so. That's what I had said on the interview. Hopefully John can find it and we can post it so y'all you know how to verify everything that I say to you motherfuckers. But hopefully y'all see, and then I started arguing with people online and all of that and said I never heard a slap. So then the very next day after me and John take that, it, it made it seem like me and John was responding to that incident where he gets on... Mark Curry and this other gentleman um, who appears to be a very cool dude from Atlanta. Can't think of his name right now. I think it's S Dog or something like that. I, I forget. But whoever he is, he seemed to be real connected in Atlanta, Georgia, and, he, and, and New Park. And my boy Bill. Shout out Bill. You know, you know that's a good dude. Bill the same. And uh, he told the story. With Mark sitting right next to him, saying how, just like I've been saying, that he growls Puffy by the collar after after Big Jake got shot, and all this. But then he also now Mark Mark sat right there and never said no, no. Suge slapped him. Suge slapped Puffy. They talking about. He said JD, <laughs> Jermaine Dupri. Now, I heard the only other person that I ever heard mention Jermaine Dupri got slapped that night was a guy I always give a lot of a hard, a hard time to and say he be making up shit, but was Gene Deal. I'm not saying it's true or not. I'm just saying I never heard it. And anywhere that Pop knew that Suge had slapped Diddy, even though he wasn't with, with Defro yet, but I'm sure after that he would have heard about it. They would have talked about it, bragged about it in a song. And that's all I said. I never heard that Suge slap Diddy. And I'm definitely up here saying, other than Big Gene and this brother right here, ever heard about Jermaine Dupree getting slapped. I gonna reiterate, and I hope Dave Mays, I know Dave Mays, and whoever his research department is are listening to Bomb First, that's, it would be a good topic for discussion, won't y'all think, on, on Collect Call. Because that music stuff that Suge over there giving y'all game on, y'all don't want to hear. Y'all want to hear the bullshit. And so there's some bullshit for them to talk about. And I hope my boy D-Dog, Toy, Dave, whoever, Lil Suge, whoever's reporting the Suge, Ask Shug to clarify that situation because now we got it. The Shug slap uh, P Diddy and and Jermaine Dupree in Atlanta 
with this Hillman Big Jake at a Jermaine Dupri party. She was the tough and the big bad bully and all of that. But as I always tell y'all, you can't go to other people's town from Compton acting like that because what did happen, if any of that turns out to be true, well, unfortunately, I gotta say it, was supposed to happen to Shug and, and Big Jake. If Shug was out there being that reckless, walking in the club, as they all said, slapping on people. I've never seen Shug act like that. Uh, no, I ain't gonna give him that, especially in other people's towns. So I was just trying to tell y'all, these stories, man, I ain't trying to call the brother a liar, but I think he got the the, the uh, master script or the game plan or something wrong when him and Mark Curry was talking about stuff. Because y'all got to remember, it's been 27, 28 years. And so you when you start talking about stuff, you be trying to make each other remember. And I never heard, y'all never heard, y'all tell the truth, that Suge walked in and slapped. Jermaine Dupri at his birthday party. You remember Mark Curry's version before? Was that Jermaine wasn't even around. Jermaine was in another room. And <clears throat> then, now it's Jermaine walked in straight in the club, slapped Jermaine Dupri, and then later on slapped Puffy, and then later on they went outside. I wasn't there. So I know y'all saying, you weren't there, so how would you know? Because I know Mr. Knight. I know how he talk about shit. I done sit around at a circle or a table for five and a half years with that nigga. Recapping his whole life. Because that's all we had to talk about after we got through talking about whatever business needed to be taken care of that week. We just talked about old days. And he knows it. And I knows it. So, not up here calling anybody a lie. Any of those three brothers, Gene, uh, Mark, I'm just saying I never heard it. I just find it strange that last year, Mark was, yeah, 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 on Gully TV, not our show, on Gully TV, hollering, Shug slap Puffy. Now his boy come there, who I believe, who I think he Got the manuscript, <laughs> the play wrong about the slap and, and threw that part in when it was supposed to be in Puffy. And they said Jermaine Dupree, JD. But I know, I know, Suge and JD relationship wasn't like that. Even, even as mad as Suge was later when uh, he took Lil Bow Wow from us. Uh, that's the only time when... And he never really had me go at them hard about that because he knows Johnny Crocker dropped the ball and get that contract certified. And that's the only reason Suge never sued Jermaine Dupree and So So Dell because we did paperwork with, well, we consider it. We met with attorneys about it. But once we researched and Johnny Cochran admitted that he never certified the contract because y'all don't know an adult can sign a contract, but juveniles, you have to take it to the courts and get it certified uh, for anyone under the age of 17 in the state of California uh, to sign or to enter into a contract. And Johnny neglected to do that. And so, yeah, that's what happened. But other than that, I never heard of she speak negatively on J.D. Peace bomb first.